All right, what's going on, everyone? So, as you can see, this is a tier list. I've never actually done one of these. Oh, first of all, this video is brought to you by these YouTube members. So, thank you guys for for uh, for your contribution. I appreciate it. Um, so, my this this is the first tier list I've ever done. Um, I've avoided trying to make them because there was a lot of people making tier lists for a lot of stuff. I kept they I just bombarded YouTube for the longest time, and I just didn't want to jump on the bandwagon. Uh, and originally, this was actually going to be a top five list in the style of a top ten list, but a little bit different. Uh, I, plans got changed several times as I was trying to figure out how to do this properly, and I eventually landed on heart characters with hollow killers as a tier list. Uh, and I will continue doing these. If you guys like this video, do hit like on the, on the video so I know to continue doing it. Otherwise, I'll just stop. Uh, but it is going to be a tier list, and we'll see how it goes. Because we've got a lot of different um, combinations that can be made from different attributes and different killers. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and start from the bottom here. Uh, and you'll see that I removed the E letter just because I felt like there was one too many... Uh, grades, so I just took one away, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and start with F being the worst and be Aquia happening, happening to land on the F. Biakuya is not really good for much of anything other than orbs, sadly. Uh, he was good for a time when he first came out, but that was a long, long time ago at this point. Renji, same thing, the free version of Renji that we all got. Unfortunately, not good. His strong attacks take way too long to activate and they don't do that much damage. Orihime, Halloween Orihime is also not great, sadly. Uh, well, I do really like the design because I think it's just ridiculously and adorable. It's, it's just not good. Uh, same thing with the um, the New Year's version of Orihime, whose design, again, I also really, really like. But the character itself, not really good for much of anything. Cone! This version of Cone, there are two kind of versions of Cones with the same art design, of the same art style. This one is the heart version of Cone. Not great, doesn't have Frenzy, I don't remember if he has Bombardment, doesn't really matter because the character's not good. Don Konoji, one of the worst characters in this game, if you haven't seen, I actually made a video, uh, it was right after I went to the dentist so my mouth was numb. If you haven't seen my review of Don Konoji at level 200, you should go watch that because I, it's, I at the very least it sounds weird. Uh, so yeah, you should just go give that a shot. Uh, next up we have uh, Ishin. Now Ishin does have Frenzy. He does have Bombardment, one of the few characters who actually has both Frenzy and Bombardment. Uh, doesn't have the best range on his strong attacks, but does have better range than these guys on his strong attacks, and they can actually deal damage, so I'm actually gonna put him under under D. He also has a very, uh, a very decent link. He's got a damage reduction uh, link and also a paralyzed resistance of 55%, which is useful in PvP. It was even more useful when Noi Toro was top dog, just because you can kind of resist that, but every now and then you still get enemies with, uh, with paralyze on their attacks, and it's useful for that. Uh, next we have the uh, Kisuke. Kisuke is actually not good. His link is almost usable. It's strong tech recharge and crystal drop, so it's useful for grinding. That's it. The character himself has bombardment. Not decent range, but blah, not not good, not good at all. Uh, next we have the uh, the tag team version of Sajin. This guy is actually not awful if you actually use decent stuff on him. He does have two killers. One of them is Captain. If I remember, yeah, it's Hollow and I'm trying to remember the other one, but this is a heart Hollow list. It's a Hollow killer and a Captain killer. The range on his strong attacks isn't the best, but it's decent enough to get the job done. I'm going to put him over here, and I think he can inflict debilitating paralysis on all of his attacks, so... He's honestly no, not a terrible character. Next, we have the uh, the version, the first version of Nanao. The first five... the, the canon version of Nanao. Unfortunately, she got bombardment, so she was kind of doomed to kind of fail. But she did get a plus 70 Berserker when she got resurrected. All of her attacks have a chance to inflict debilitating... Uh, uh, uh par paralysis i think they can all inflict paralysis i don't remember either way she does have a uh, uh, decent damage on its strong attacks now um but uh, i still can't really put her on the level of sajin i'm probably gonna put her in d with uh, with ishin just because no frenzy the the berserker at 70 is good but not good enough plus her normal attacks don't pierce because she's an older character uh next we have tetsu zaimon we're finally getting another tetsu zaimon i'm so happy yeah, I really like this character just because you just don't ever see him, and when you do, he's great. Uh, Tetsu Zaimon does have a lot of HP, but he also has Frenzy, which is nice, and the strong attacks have a very similar range uh, as to Sajin, so I'm going to put him under C. Uh, in that You can build him and you can use him, but he's probably not going to do that great. Uh, next we have Kai and Shiba. Kai and Shiba also got a really high uh, 
uh, Berserker increase. I think he, when he got resurrected, he's at Berserker at 50%, and he's got a strong attack damage link of 25%, giving him an overall boost of 75%, but he doesn't have Frenzy. And I, don't know, I think he has Bombardment, but uh, you can probably build him in a way to kind of get by, but he's not as bad as the people in F, but he's also not that great, so we're going to put him in D. Uh, next, oh, next we're getting into some really good, wow, that's that took a jump. Wow, okay, next we have Tag Team Renji. That took a leap. Okay, because starting with ta Tag Team Renji, Tag Team Renji is great. Tag Team Renji has Havoc at uh, 20%, uh, and he's got really good range on his strong attacks because of the Havoc. He's got a, a charge move, strong attack 3, that does a lot of damage when fully charged, uh, and it can inflict debilitating burn, and he's just got two ki He's a great character, honestly. He's a really, really good character. I'm definitely going to put him up here in A, just because... He holds up even now. I don't think... Let me double check. I don't think he's got a uh, Berserker at anything, even though he did get recently resurrected. No, he does not have Berserker at anything, but he does get Bruiser at 40%, making his normal attacks actually usable. Uh, so I am going to put him over there on A, just because, honestly... Yeah, because of the double killer and really good range. Not a lot of people have that, so I'm going to put him up there. Uh, next, we have the movie version of Ichigo. This guy got a lot better when he got, when he got resurrected, and he wasn't bad before that. Uh, he got Berserker, I believe, at 20%, uh, and an extra strong tech damage link. He also got... Uh, oh, just gonna, to, to not confuse you guys, I'm going to leave him here while, while I'm talking about him. Uh, also, I need to go back and check on him. Uh, yeah, he got a, a, a full stamina damage link, I'm sorry, in addition to the strong attack recharge of... 14%, got Berserker at 20%, has Havoc, has really good range on his strong attacks. Uh, honestly, he's also going to end up on, on A, similar to Renji, just because he is still really good. He does hold up even now. I'm going to leave him there. Next, we have uh, her, whatever her name is. I don't remember her name. What is it? Mashiro. Next, we have Mashiro. Mashiro kind of came out at a time when they were doing a lot of characters with uh, high SP, uh, 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 Strong attack recharge and also a boost move, making potential for infinite boost. Uh, but it's kind of a double-edged sword just because you can't spam that strong attack. But it's still really, really good. So I'm going to put it under B just because she can deal decent damage. Uh, she has the potential to be a hybrid character if you really want to go that route. And honestly, she's just fun. Uh, but she also has really good range, so we're going to leave her there as well. Next, we have this guy. All right, so... Okay. <laughs> so Stark got... Really, Stark got a lot better when he got resurrected. I don't know if they just went hard because it was Cacao Society and people really like Cacao Society. I don't know. But he did get an extra 20% Berserker and he got a 20... Well, he has a 25% strong attack damage link. He also got a 10% uh, strong attack recharge link, making him one of the best links in the entire game. He has really good range on his strong attacks, even though he doesn't have Havoc. But still, solid character. Most people use him as a uh, as a as a link and totally un totally understandable just because there's a lot better heart characters. But honestly, we're just gonna leave him. It's kind of hard to put him. There we go. Uh, probably no one on this list is gonna end up in S if I'm being honest, because uh, I'm kind of reserving S for the really really broken stuff. And uh, Heart Hollow doesn't seem to have that, although maybe we'll see when we get a little bit higher. Uh, next we have Noitora. Now, the Noitora, this banner was really, really good. I'm I'm really waiting on them to resurrect these characters because I really, really enjoy them. They're a lot of fun. Uh, Noitora here is really good at inflicting burn. His strong attack 1 hits a really high number of times, especially if you're at close range. He's got a strong attack 3 that's, uh, I think it's close to full screen when fully charged. But it is a charge move, and again, can inflict burn. Honestly, and he's one of the older characters, or he's kind of in that area of middle ground, kind of. Um, but his normal attacks do pierce, which is really, really nice for inflicting burn as well. He's honestly a solid character. I'm going to put him over here with Mashiro. I have a feeling that when he gets resurrected, he's going to end up in A, just because he'll probably get Berserker and hopefully Havoc? But we'll see. Um, either way, really good character. He's going to end up in B. Next up, we have Nemu. I love this design for Nemu. I wish she was better. She got bombardment, so she's doomed to fail. She is better than now, just because she does have more uses. Her strong attacks uh, can all inflict confusion, but her special uh, gives the ability to resurrect. She also has higher multipliers on her uh, normal attack. Not on her strong attack anymore, just because Nanao has got that over her. But she is a little bit better. I'm going to place her over here with the C people, which hurts my soul because I really, really like this character. I really like her design and just Nemu. Um, but yeah, that's where she ends up. Next, we have Loopy. I forgot to take a look at Loopy. 
Luckily, I still remember him from when I covered him several times ago. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, all of his attacks have a chance to inflict... Uh, let me find him just to get... It. I think it's debilitating... Whoops. It's debilitating uh, uh, paralysis. Um, he's also got Frenzy, which is really, really nice. Uh, but I don't think he has any full screen attacks. Let me double check here. No, he doesn't have full screen attacks. He does have a beam shot strong attack too. Uh, that hits more than the average number of times for beam shot. Wow. Okay. I see you, Loopy. All right, all right, all right. Still not the best character. I am gonna put him under over here with B, uh, just because he does lack a little bit in damage, uh, and he also lacks a little bit in range. He doesn't have any full screen or anything like that. I don't think he's as good as the people A, but st still not a bad character. Uh, next we have good old uh, Toshiro Hitsugaya. In fact, was actually okay when he first came out in PvP. Not so much anymore. Uh, he does have a really high damage potential because of that frenzy and because of that full stamina damage boost, uh, but that. It, it kind of is a double-edged sword with him since he has a barrier move for his strong attack 2. He can't kind of spam his attacks. He does have a beam shot of strong attack 1, which is really, really nice. But I don't think I can put him in A just because he can lose that damage relatively quickly. And he's kind of stuck waiting for his strong attacks to recharge longer than the average character would. So, yeah, I'm going to put him in B. He's still a really good character. Really, really good character, but probably not, you know, top tier. Um, next we have... <laughs> Okay, the reason she's showing up now and where she should have showed up a long time ago is because I kind of grabbed them in the order I saw them in BBS Simulator and just put them on here. Uh, so that's why she ended up way up here. But this version of Yoroichi is actually not going to go in F. She's going to go in D. The character itself is not great, but the Link is awesome. One of the best Links in the entire game. You can get as many of her, of her as you want uh, just by waiting. Every month you get to get her. And honestly, fantastic Link. If nothing else, because there is nothing else. Just a really good link, so I'm gonna put her in D. Uh, next we have Parasol Hollybell. I love this character, I wish she was faster, but I do think she's a really good character. Weakening on everything, uh, uh, pushback strong attack 1, I a crawling vortex move strong attack 2. Really good against bosses for, for the weakening and the strong attacks that she has. Uh, she's a solid character, I'm gonna put her in B. Uh, she could do a little bit more damage. Uh, she came out right before they started giving Berserker to everyone, uh, and, or to a lot of people, and, uh, and Frenzy, but she's still a really, really good character, really good for taking out bosses. Next we have Yami. Yami is probably, <laughs> he's like one of two characters on this list that has, like, that has Flurry. Uh, he did, he came out when they first started giving Flurry to characters with good killers, because he has a, a hollow killer. Uh, unfortunately, his normal tech consists of three attacks. Uh, so it's not the fastest, but he's still a really good character. I'm going to put him over here. Uh, he doesn't have anything. I think he does have a normal attack damage link, so that is kind of nice. Uh, but he's a little bit slow. Um, I'm just going to leave him in B because he's not amazing, but he's still really, really good. Next, we have the uh, the fourth anniversary version of Ichigo. I guess Mugetsu. It's hard to call him an anniversary character, even though he technically was. Just because he's not like an original design or anything. He's just a... Uh, it's just Mugetsu. Uh, everybody knows this guy really, really good. Uh, he's got a lunge move, strong attack one, uh, strong attack two. That's got really good range. Full screen, strong attack three. Doesn't have havoc yet. I do think they're gonna give it to him when he gets resurrected. Two killers uh, recovers health. Honestly, it, that double killer and the the is, is the health recovery for potential full stamina damage is the reason I'm gonna put him in A. Um, he's just a really good character. He's just a really, and he holds up extraordinarily well. Has really good range despite not having Havoc. And I'm excited to see him get Havoc, because you know they're going to do it when he gets resurrected. So I'm going to leave him there. <sighs> okay, next up we have the the, uh, the Machine Society version of Izuru. I like this character. He's got debilitating paralysis on all of his attacks, except for his strong attack 2. That's a heal move, increasing his durability, because you can just heal yourself and the entire team. He's got a plus 30 bruiser, a... Uh, damage reduction soul trade if I'm not mistaken uh, and for and flurry which is really really good uh, he's a solid character could be a little I uh, could benefit from guard break um, but honestly nobody's perfect uh, he's just a really good character so I'm gonna leave him an A and then finally we have believe it or not the newest heart hollow character in uh, in Lisa which is really hard to believe this character did come out this year but it was like like back in April of this year or something. It was very earlier this year. It's the last time we've gotten a heart hollow character, which a heart hollow car killer character. Uh, but she's really, really good. Berserker at twenty percent. 
Um, yeah, Berserker at 20%, she's got a strong attack recharge link. Frenzy, she's got an ability that uh, increases the amount of damage she deals uh, whenever, or I guess Heart Soul Reapers deal with her strong attacks. Uh, if the enemies are inflicted with a status element, which is very likely, she's got a beam shot strong attack one, a crawling vortex move strong attack two, she's got havoc, she's got a full screen or beyond full screen strong attack three. She's just got a lot of things going for her. And you know what? I am gonna put her under S. I might I might have to make an S plus category uh, for characters in the, the likes of like Aizen or like six anniversary Aizen or some of the newer characters that are coming out that are just ridiculous. Uh, but for now, I guess I will put an S plus. There's not really a, a heart hollow. Uh, killer character that would be above this um, So this is probably fine for now, but I am gonna have to add a different thing now, I'll get to that for the next video, but for now, that's the tier list. That's my tier list. It's, it's my first one you guys It's the first one on the channel. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoy this if you do I will continue to make them if you don't uh, I guess I'll just stop after a few. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see but do hit the like button if you did enjoy it With that said, thank you guys for watching if you disagree with any of this yeah, sure, why not? It's, you know, it's the internet, it's your, it's your opinions, that's fine. Just put them in the comments or something, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.